Hey baby girls, how's everyone doing? Welcome back. I hope everyone is doing super well today. Uh, so today we're going to be working with another summary design. It's been like a design that I've been seeing here and there. I saw it on Instagram, I then I saw it in TikTok, and then I saw it here on YouTube. I don't remember what the youtuber's name was but yeah i i saw it from eclept eclept nail supplies something like that and um she did an amazing job you guys i kind of just took like an idea from here and then from just here and there you know what i mean and i just created my own version of this giving it like a little twist to it you know so um, we're going to be using Princess Slippers from Matte Polish and um, this clip will be going a little fast just because this video was about 40 minutes long you guys and I really had to speed up the process of a lot of things so that it wasn't as long you know because I don't want to bore you guys because these nail videos have been super long lately. And I don't know, what do you guys like? Do you guys like shorter videos or do you guys like longer videos? Let me know in the comments down and below. I will be reading you guys over there. I really want to know <laughs> what you guys like, longer or shorter videos. Um, so yeah, I'm using my 3XL um, straight tapered squared nail tips. And these do not have a C-curve. They're very flat. They're just perfect, you guys. I love them. And those are the ones that I'm using on today's video. I'm also using my number 12 brush, Kalinsky brush that is available as well on my online store. And I'm going to be using um, now polishes, monomer, and crystal clear acrylic, okay? I'm also using a couple of drops of their neutralizing drops just so that the smell of monomer is very, very low. Just so that it's not as strong. So yeah, you guys, you guys can see here that I'm starting already with the acrylic application. Um, pretty much the nails are going to be, well no, they're not all going to be the same. I'm going to be doing the exact same process on the middle and the ring finger and on the thumb. I also left it so you guys can see what I do with the thumb and how I work with the thumb. Um, so yeah, I also left it in there this time. Maybe that's why it's a little longer too. And then for my index and my pinky, I'm going to be doing a Frenchie on those, okay? So that's pretty much what I'm going to be doing. You guys can see how I start to apply my acrylic. You guys see here that I started around the, that apex area. And I work my way down. So I place my first bead. And then I pat it like towards the center. Like I pat side to side. And then I bring it down. I hope I make sense, you guys. I'm really trying my best to explain what I do here so you guys can actually understand what I'm doing. But sometimes just seeing me do the things, it's most, it's, oh my god, I'm sorry. It's much easier than for me to try to explain what I'm doing. But yeah, anyway, um, I kind of work from three to four beats. It all depends on the length of the nail. Sometimes the nails are way too long to be three beads and you have to add extra beads at the tip or around the cuticle area depending on how you work. I've seen um, other nail techs that start like exactly at the tip of the nail and that's where they place their first bead and then they work their way up. You know what I mean? So I don't know. I just like to start it this way. And like I've always told you, everybody works different y todos se acomodan como ellos quieren. So yeah, chicas, um, you guys can see here that I did like six beads. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, something that I really wanted to touch on today's video is about the ratios, guys. Um, if you guys haven't practiced on your ratios, on your acrylic, on your acrylic to monomer ratios, I think you should start working on that. Honestly, you guys, when I began first here in this whole nail world, when I was a beginner, I didn't even know a single thing about it, of course, because you're brand new. And I never really thought about me working and practicing on the acrylic to monomer ratios, you know what I mean? 
but now that I have a little bit more experience, I still have a long way to go, you guys. Like, I still have a long way to go, and every day I learn something new. But now that I have a little bit more of nail experience, I can actually tell you guys that practicing on your monomer to acrylic ratio will make your acrylic application much better um just try to practice 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 um there's a whole lot of videos out there if you guys want a video especially on that you can totally let me know and i will try my best to do one um but really guys like really really practice on that if you know how to control the acrylic you'll be able to apply acrylic on the nail if you don't know how to control the acrylic and you don't know the exact ratio to it it'll be either way too runny or way too dry or you know it's just not gonna work for you and if it's way too runny it's gonna get all over the cuticles and all it's gonna cost is lifting if it's way too dry you're not even gonna be able to um just maneuver the bead you know just drag the bead or anything like that so it has to kind of be at a perfect stage so you guys can actually move it around to wherever you want to place it so yeah there is a lot of monomers and acrylics out there that are beginner friendly but if you don't know the ratios the correct ratios to this you will not be able to actually um make like a how can i say this not a perfect nail but pretty much a nail that looks right that it's just built right you know what i mean I, I'm, I can't find the exact words but you know what i mean and um so i really think you should practice on your ratios first and then your acrylic application comes next if you get your acrylic application down and then you can move on to your filing process because like i said everything is step by step if you get your ratios right, you will have a good application. If you have a good application, you're going to have good filing. And if you have good filing, that means that your application was bomb.com and your time will be cut in half. So I really, really, really suggest you guys to start off with your ratios, then move on and focus on your application. And then after you're done with that, then you may focus on the filing. After the filing, you guys, you guys can focus on whatever you want. Um, French nail designs, um, I don't know, marble, I don't know, I don't, I don't know you guys, or just if you guys like freehand, then you can focus on freehand, but I think a good application comes with each and every step, you know what I mean? A good set of nails comes with the right steps. So yeah, you guys, I really hope um, I make sense, because <laughs> I know that sometimes I can't really explain myself, like I know what I'm thinking, but I can't really explain myself, because... I'm making a video in English and I want to explain myself in Spanish porque a veces así se me hace más fácil. It's just that I'm very, very, very Spanglish, you guys. Around here, around here where I live in El Paso. I live outside El Paso. I live in a little town outside of El Paso. And um, it's about like, I want to say maybe about 20 minutes away from El Paso, from the city. And um, literally, you guys, everybody speaks like that over here. You know, sometimes we just mix it up and we make all these twists um, that you guys would probably never hear. But we live in the frontera, like we live right across the border. Maybe that's why, I don't know. But um, I'm very Spanglish. Like, me trago en español and I'll say it in English. And when I, when I can't say something in English, then I'll just say it in Spanish. And everybody just speaks like that out here. I don't know, you guys. It's just... I don't know. Probably it's just us El Paso ones. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, anyway. Uh, I'm just going to finish here everything. I'm going to go ahead and cap. Like I said, I'm going to be using Not Polishes Monomer and Crystal Clear Acrylic. And I'm going to go ahead and cap. I'm also going to go ahead and cap the Frenchies we just did. They're going to be in clear because we are going to be adding a little bit of Pixies at the end. And yeah, so... I'll let you guys watch this and I'll be back.
Okay, baby girls. So now for filing, as usual, I begin with a 180. No, with an 80 80 nail grid file. I'm so sorry about that. Um, yes, from Pana 80 80 from Pana, and I just start to just remove any excess of acrylic that was stuck underneath the nail stuck to my skin and I just like to remove that and sometimes I like to go and just make the shape a little bit more crisp and then I go in with my this is a fine fight fine fight oh my god I'm getting so tongue twisted today you guys but it's a five five in one drill bit from a not polish and um, I love it. I really love it, you guys. I have been using it nonstop. I really, really love it. But yeah, I like to take it around the cuticle area. And I do have it at about 13 to 15 RPMs. I do not um, reach higher than that. But yeah, I do have it at a, right now. I do have it at about 13 RPMs. And um, I noticed that if I do reach a higher RPM, it does get really hot. It burns. So I like to keep it at about 13 to 15 RPMs. But yeah, I like to go around the cuticle area, just sealing that area, making sure that there is no acrylic. Then I work myself down towards the tip of the nail, just debulking the nail making sure there's no lumps and bumps, making sure that the apex is the right apex, uh, making sure that the cuticle is sealed, and making sure that the tip or the free edge of the nail is also thin, okay? And that's the way it should look like. And sometimes I do like to take it along the sidewalls just to crisp up that shape.
Okay, now going back with my hand file, I'm going to be using my 8080 once again. And I'm sorry I was a little out of focus here. My sister and my mom were here while I was filming and I was speaking to them. I was talking to them. We were chismeando and I was all over the place. I'm so sorry. Also, the lighting was a little off, you guys. I'm sorry about that as well. And, um, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm going to be taking my 8080 once again and just creeping up. Creeping? What? Crisping up that shape, making sure that everything is nicely straight, making sure that is it is very nicely tapered. And um, here I noticed that it was a little bulky on the side, so I just went in with my hand file and just removed that. And then now I'm going to be taking my 150, 150 nail grid file. These I get them off of Nail Supply Glamour and I love them. And I'm just going to be removing any harsh scratches left from the um, nail drill. Because sometimes it does leave like harsh scratches and I don't like that you guys. So I like to go in with my 50, oh my god, with my 150, 150 nail grid file. And it just removes everything and it just makes everything very smooth. I don't like to skip this step. I know that a lot of nail techs don't even use the 150, 150. They just go straight in with their buffer. But this is just me, you guys. This is just personal preference. Um, you know, this, these are just little tips that I give you guys. This is just my way of working. Everybody works different. And um, yeah, you know, you guys can take any idea that you like. This, this is, like I said, this is just how I work. And I just share it with you guys. So um, yeah, I like to take it on the surface, like I said, just to remove any harsh lines, and it just helps, like, buff the surface better, if that makes sense. And then I like to take it underneath the nails, because sometimes, since I do like to shape with my drill the edges and underneath, sometimes I do leave, like, little grooves down there, and I don't like that. It does not look cute. So I like to take it underneath the nails as well, making sure that it is very nicely straight. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I also like to shape the tip of the nail or the free edge, which is the hardest because these nails are super long. I don't know what it is, you guys, but long nails are super, they're not hard to shape. They're not, you guys, like, no, it's not hard. But the free edge, oh my God, that's like the hardest part. But yeah, I try my best to do it. And now I'm just going to be buffing everything and then dusting everything off, cleaning off with a little bit of alcohol and a lint-free wipe and make sure everything is nice and clean for our next step. Okay, baby girls, now I'm going to be doing like two, well, I'm going to be doing Frenchies here on my ring finger and on my middle and my thumb. We're going to be doing Frenchies with two different colors and we're going to be doing croc print. Like I told you at the beginning, I've seen this design a couple of times here on YouTube, on Instagram, and I watched Eclipse Life, I think it was Saturday or Sunday, I remember. And um, she did something like this and I was like, you know what, I'm going to do that. I love them. So yeah, I've been taking like little ideas from here and there and I just gathered them and just put them here on a set. So yeah, I'm going to be doing blue and pink. I wasn't even sure what colors to use. Like, I don't know, like nothing was really matching, but I'm like, you know what, it doesn't even... It's not even about it matching because I didn't do it all throughout my nails. You know what I mean? I didn't do my five nails. I only did three of them. So it was kind of hard to pick out the colors. And um, I was like, you know what? Whatever. I'm just going to pick out whichever ones. And it is what it is. So yeah, you guys, I'm going to be doing this. After I finish the Frenchies, I'm going to go in with a shiny top coat because I, I wanted them to be shiny. I didn't want them to be matte. So that's what I'm going to be doing and then we're going to be doing the crop print.
Okay, baby girls, so now for the crock print, I'm going to start off with each of the colors that we used for the Frenchies. I start off with the green and just make these little lines um, from the bottom all the way to the top. Or if you want to start from the top all the way to the bottom, it's all up to you. Um, I just do these little lines and then after that, I'm going to go ahead and sprinkle a little bit of the crystal clear acrylic on top. And um, I'm going to cure that under the lamp for about 60 seconds and that's about it. That is your crock print. So now for the Frenchies here on the pinky and the index finger, I'm going to be applying a base coat. This one is from, oh my god, what's it called? It's a little kit that I got off of Amazon, I don't remember. But, I'll, but I'm going to be applying it only where the French is, okay? Not around the little smile line we did or anything like that with the acrylic, only at the French tip. And I'm not going to cure it just yet. I'm going to go ahead and sprinkle a little bit of my pixie crystals on top. And then after I added my pixie crystals, I'm going to go ahead and cure under the lamp for about 60 seconds. We're almost there, you guys. We're almost done. <laughs> but and now I'm going to be applying these little gummy bears. And I'm going to be applying the yellow here on the middle nail. I'm going to be applying like a reddish, pinkish colored one here on the ring finger. And then I also went ahead and applied an orange one on my thumb. Now, I also went ahead and added my shiny top coat here around that fringe area or the smile line area because, of course, like I told you, I wanted them to be shiny. So I went ahead and added my shiny top coat 
cured it under lamp for about 60 seconds it came out of the lamp and now i'm gonna be applying some crystals here around the cuticle area because i thought it looked a little lonely i thought it lit i oh my god i thought it needed a little oomph to it so i went ahead and added just a couple of crystals here on the index and the pinky And we are done you guys after that I only went ahead and applied my cuticle oil which is rose scented I love it you can find it on my online store everything will be linked in the description box below just in case you are wondering so yeah you guys this is the end result I loved it you guys but you guys tell me what you guys think I'll be reading you down in the comments thank you so much for being here if you haven't so already please go ahead and subscribe like and comment that helps out my channel a lot and yeah you guys i will catch you on the next one stay safe god bless and bye bye